enzymes assist in chemical reactions, but there is specificity between enzymes and substrates at the active site. So when we think about metabolism, which is the sum total of all chemical reactions that take place, we can have catabolism, which is breaking down, or anabolism, which is building up. So initially, we look at this substrate. It is going to be broken down into products. So that could be a decomposition or degradation reaction. But the thing is, the substrate has to fit the active site of the enzyme, both shape and charge. So when we have an enzyme substrate complex and they come together, then the chemical reaction can occur and we end up with products and enzymes do not get used up in chemical reactions. So they can continue breaking down the next substrate. Anabolism in a similar process, instead of breaking things down, build things up. So we have substrates, we end up with a product but the substrate has to have the right shape and charge for the active site on the enzyme. Again, when they join, those substrates can be combined into a product and we have an enzyme that is ready for the next substrates. We also have cofactors that can get involved. And when we think of cofactors, we often think of enzymes. And the cofactor is in red here and it creates the active site. If we had this substrate, it wouldn't fit onto the blue without the red. So even though we are constructing through our genetics, all of the correct order for these amino acids to be to create the protein enzyme, we still need vitamins in order to create the correct shape for the enzyme. In addition, Transcription and translation or turning on genes happens all the time. However, we can have a ready supply of enzymes handy, even though we're not using every enzyme at every moment. So they're kind of can be in a state of inactivity. When we want to create activated enzymes, which a lot of times happens through cellular communication, we can use other enzymes to create the proper active site shape. And a lot of times that happens through the use of phosphate groups. So in this case, a kinase enzyme is an enzyme that helps phosphorylate other proteins. So as the phosphate group gets added, all of a sudden the enzyme becomes activated, which allows the substrate to bind to the active site and create products. In a similar sense, we can activate enzymes not only through adding phosphate groups, but by removing them. So again, our enzyme has already been created through transcription and translation. However, it's in an inactive state until the phosphate is removed, and then the active site is compatible with the substrate and products can be produced. So again, this idea of a lock and key model, enzymes have to be specific to their substrates, and the active site has to be the right shape and charge for the substrate.